Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you a to do a size up elastic animation in DaVinci Resolve and give you a quick introduction on the different curves that you can use to create different kind of animation. So let's check it out. <music> All right, so in DaVinci Resolve right now, we're on the Fusion page, and here I've just created a simple square, and we have a transform node on which I'm gonna make the size animation. Right here, I have my spline editor that you can toggle on and off from there. I have a full video explaining each tool of the spline editor that I will link in the description below. Right now, I'm just gonna focus on curve and how each one of them can create a different style. In the description, I will also link to this website, api.flutter.dev, which is a great resource to see what each curve does and how you can use them to create different style of animation. You can click on each of those curves to see how they behave. And here you have uh, how the animation is actually affecting a square. So it's a very good way for you to kind of check out uh, different style of animation and how you can apply that to your project. Today, we're going to do a curve elastic out animation based on the scale. So this this animation right there. To do that, we're going to need three points, one here at the beginning of the curve, then one here at the end of that curve, and then a final one here at the end of this curve. Let's jump into DaVinci and see how we can do that. So here I'm going to select my transform node and we're going to make the animation here on the size. I'm going to start at frame 25 and drop a keyframe on the size at one. And then I'm going to go down to frame zero and bring the size down to zero. So that's going to be our first curve, the second curve to create that elastic effect. We're going to go over to the frame 40 and this time we're going to put it at 0 0.95. Hit enter. Now let's just select all all points. And here we're going to hit the letter S on our keyboard and it's going to change our curve from linear to smooth. I'm going to click right here to have a better view on all my points. And now we're going to have to play with each one of those anchors to adjust the curve and have basically the curve overshooting and then down shooting. I will usually do a lot of it manually, but it's gonna be hard to translate if I'm just uh, kind of guessing and doing it. So right now I'm gonna enter some value in the ease in and ease out to give you an idea of what to do. If the ease in and ease out parameter are not showing up, you can just use command T to just hide them or uh, bring them up. So I'm gonna select my first two points, so my first curve, and here I'm gonna bring the ease in at 50 and I'm gonna bring the ease out at 50 as well. Then I'm gonna select the second curve and here we're gonna bring the ease out at 33 and we're gonna bring the ease in at 50. Now we're gonna get into the approximation. Basically, you're gonna want to take this anchor and you're gonna just switch that to create some sort of S curve that is reversed. So we're gonna overbounce here with that curve and this one gonna go down. So we're basically inverting what we had originally like this. While making that adjustment, make sure that here, the easing, as you can see, is changing. Make sure that the easing stay at 50. Because basically right now, we're overshooting the value, but we don't want to change the easing. So that's how my curve look like, and that's how my animation look like. It's very subjective depending on what you like. Maybe you like a harsher curve or maybe you want something smoother. Usually I stay on the low key side. I want something that is quite discreet uh, and simple. So I don't make huge curve attempt to have them like quite flat. I think most of the time that looks a bit cleaner in my opinion. But play around with this handle and just uh, play back your animation a couple of times until you get the result that you want. And that's pretty much it. That's how I will do that kind of animation in DaVinci Resolve. I hope this video was helpful. Again, I will link to uh, the longer tutorial on how to use the spline editor below, as well as the website that I just showcased that uh, is super helpful in my opinion to help you get the curve right and to just define the style that you want for your animation. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.